Hello and welcome back to all our beautiful YouTube friends and wonderful subscribers. This is Staring It Up with me, your host, Tierra Monique. Well, welcome back. And we just want to do nothing but spread love and let you know that we're homing in from the beautiful West Coast, City of Angels, reaching out from here to the wonderful East Coast, saying hi to all our friends, bringing up all hot topics, political news, trending topics, people say the darndest, and do the darndest things. So sit down, grab a drink, grab a friend, and let's talk about it on the other side. You believe that we have the capacity to love people, but you, yeah, I don't trust you. So well, I mean, you, you know, you can't, you can't, I mean, it's not rational to trust. First of all, you shouldn't trust white people. And by that, I mean, as long as white people lead with whiteness, they can't be trusted because whiteness is the reason why in a race-based society, you can't trust white people. me now is the Democratic Congresswoman Barbara Lee of California. She's the chair of the Majority Leader's Task Force on Poverty and Opportunity. She's a member of the Appropriations and Budget Committees and a former chair of the Congressional Black Caucus. She joins us today from El Paso, Texas, and we're going to get to the reason for that in just a moment. But uh, Congresswoman, I, I have to talk to you about this issue that is going on in Georgia. Uh, the companies in, that are based in Georgia that are apparently turning a bit of a blind eye to this, the idea that all of these changes are just meant to make it harder for people to vote and do not have any apparent tie to this voter fraud that everybody is apparently chasing. Your thoughts on this attack on democracy that is uh, that has taken place this week? Thank you, Ali, and uh, good morning. Um, uh, let me tell you, um, these are fundamental attacks on our democracy, which um, they're un-American, and we're at a very defining moment. I mean, th what is taking place takes place uh, under dictatorships. I have monitored elections in many, many countries, uh, making sure that they're fair and free. Uh, and what is taking place here in the United States is very similar to what has taken place throughout the country in terms of dictatorships. So I am very uh, concerned that uh, these actions are taking place in terms of voter suppression. And of course, they're targeted toward uh, people of color, specifically African Americans. That is why we have got to pass HR1 which increases um, and makes sure that there's voter access and also the John Lewis uh, Voter Voting Rights Act, um, which is H.R. 4. That has to happen. We have to have federal protections because otherwise we're going to go back to before the days of Jim Crow. We're going to go back uh, to days where uh, African Americans were, uh, quite frankly, not uh, seen as uh, human beings. And so we are continually fighting back. Uh, I am so proud of Representative Cannon in Georgia. I mean, she stood up, she fought back, and you see what voter suppression uh, looks like <laughs> in terms of how uh, she was treated when she was just trying to gain access to what she should have been able to gain access to. And let's just remind our viewers about that. I'm going to ask my control room if they've got the video of Representative Cannon. Uh, she was uh, attempting to gain access to the governor's chambers. There was a signing in there. There were a number. I mean, the, the imagery was kind of remarkable. As she was being arrested, what was going on inside the governor's office, there were a number of white men signing this bill into law in a big hurry, and they were actually signing it under a painting, believe it or not, I guess it's a painting that's always there, of a plantation, a slave plantation in Georgia. This is what we know of as civil disobedience, the, the uh, arrest of a legislator. Uh, it is something we've seen in the United States. It's something we saw in South Africa. It's something we've seen uh, all all over where someone is trying to protest uh, a law that is in place that is unjust. It is a remarkable thing to be watching in 2021, Georgia. Representative? Yeah, it's outrageous. Remember the images of what took place uh, when our beloved John Lewis and those who fought to gain the right to vote 
uh, marching across the Edna Pettus Bridge. Remember how they were beat. Remember how they were jailed. Remember what, the, what brutality they experienced as a result of just trying to gain their full democratic rights, the right to vote. Here we once again see how an African-American woman representative is being treated by the police, trying to deny her, her absolute rights to be able to witness the signing of a bill. It is just, uh, it, it's scary in many respects, but I tell you one thing, African-Americans are not going to stand for that. We're fighting back. We're making sure that uh, we have the votes to move forward on these two bills. We have got to end this filibuster so that we can pass H.R. 1 and we can pass H.R. 4, because this is, a, again, a fundamental uh, moment where our democracy is at stake. And I have seen uh, dictatorships, and I have seen what has happened to people when their rights are taken away. This is also an issue of human rights. I've served as a representative to the United Nations. I know what violations of human rights are. All right, love bugs, that wraps it up for another edition of Stirring It Up with me, Tierra Monique. So what do you guys think about what Miss Barbara Lee, Congresswoman Miss Barbara Lee had to say? HR1 and HR4 are very important. So if you're black and if you're listening, please keep your eyes open and let's do what we have to do. Georgians, get on it. I know you guys are, but stay on it. We appreciate you. So, that wraps it up for this segment. If you did enjoy this video, please do hit the like and subscribe to become a love bug. Until next time, and there will be a next time. Take care of yourself.